Hi, this is Gwen Foster. I want to talk about Lyme disease because a lot of people are really suffering and afflicted by Lyme disease and its co-infections. And I have a little bit of a different angle that I believe about Lyme disease. I think that there's, first of all, I think there's a lot of undiagnosed Lyme going around. And I also think that there's a lot of people that have, think they have Lyme and they actually have something else. And it's very hard to get a clear diagnosis because the testing can be a false positive, a false negative, depending on the test that was done, the location of the Lyme, and if it actually is Lyme or something else. And I think there's a little bit of somewhat of misunderstanding about Lyme disease. Um, it is a pathogen. It is in the protozoa family. Um, there are some bacterial type co-infections and also parasitic type co-infections. Um, but what I would say is that I would look at the emotions with Lyme disease too, because there's usually some, uh, I would call chronic Lyme disease, um, some form of hanging healing. And what I mean by hanging healing is in German new medicine, there's a belief that there's a pathogen phase at the point of resolution. So let's say something, and, and I've seen this so many examples, like I can think of one story where um, a mom, a dad, and two daughters went to France, like went to the south of France, rented a, a home there, and beautiful countryside, and this is when the girls were small. I met this family at when they're adults, um, but the, the, the story happened when they're very small. And they, there were so many ticks that the girls remembered that they had to be checked several times a day for ticks, like in the south of France, which sounds weird. And they had to, when they got to this house, they got there like kind of late in the day, and they didn't realize there was a tick problem until that night when they're already in bed. And they didn't have a solution, they're in the middle of nowhere, and they had rented this house for like several weeks. And, but the point of my story is that only the mom and one daughter were really afflicted. The dad and the other daughter were not afflicted at all. And the mom and the daughter spent many years of having elusive symptoms and things that would kind of come and go, but never really be resolved. So my take on Lyme disease is there, to look at the emotions, look at what else is going on with the person, what was going on at that time, because a hanging healing means that there's some type of something going on emotionally, but it's never really resolved. It's kind of like lurking there in the background, you know, like maybe elusive, maybe because someone's focused on pathogens and killing them, and killing them and doing this cleanse and doing this detox that they don't really look at the emotions and where there's maybe some suffering, self-punishment, um, self-devaluation issues, beating oneself up for something. But it can also be that the terrain is never addressed, which is the temperature and the pH levels or acidity. And it can also be that they're fighting Lyme all the time when there's actually something else. There's a lot of parasites that mimic um, Lyme disease symptoms and if you're focusing on Lyme especially with homeopathy or certain ways you might be missing something else completely because there's no test that any doctor in the world is going to do that's going to be able to check you for the thousands of potential bacteria and parasites that it, you could be dealing with and so you know the first approach medically is flagell or a drug like that um, and then very strong antibiotics, but that doesn't always do the trick because a parasite cycle is always something you need to work at for 60 days for one thing. And they don't usually prescribe those, you know, for 60 days, not at least initially. But also if um, that temperature is low and the person is acidic, those parasites are just gonna thrive. Um, I had used for myself Hannah's protozoa kit which was a great solution in itself, but I was also focusing on my temperature and my pH. And pH is no cakewalk. Um, I use pH strips to test the pH, and um, I can say it, it's difficult. I have to do a green drink and five or six cups of vegetables a day to get my pH at balanced. And if, I, if you do Mexican food, Italian food, certain well, alcohol, forget it. 
there's no way to balance your pH if with that kind of diet. So if that's like once a week, that might be okay, but it can't be all the time. Most Americans are very acidic. So when people tell me that they've been battling this for you know, 10, 20, 30 years, I would say that the terrain probably had not been addressed, the emotions had not been addressed. And sometimes, you know, with emotions, the, the first emotion isn't even the problem. I mean, it is a problem, it was never addressed, but then you have other problems because of feeling bad for so long. Sometimes people have chronic illnesses and they have other things crop up just because there's a new emotion tied to just feeling sick all the time or feeling depressed all the time. So it's important to look at the whole body. It's important to look at the mind and the physical body because they're both equally important. There is a great website, um, the canlime.org. It's C-A-N for Canadian, Lime, L-Y-M-E, and then .org. It has some great information, but one of the things I like on that website is they have a 75 item checklist of Lyme symptoms and the common ones. And they say, if you have 20 or more, you most likely are dealing with a Lyme infection. Um, so you might wanna go there. That might be a little bit easier and more beneficial than getting a bunch of tests run that will be not conclusive. And that's the thing too, is a lot of people suffer longer than they need to because they'll get tests that show negative to Lyme and the person does have Lyme and then they're just wasting time. And the longer Lyme is in the body, the more it spreads and the more of a systemic issue it becomes and, and harder to get rid of. So if you want help with Lyme disease, you might want to give me a call or someone who specializes in parasites and, um, and pathogens. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.